Thank you. I'm Sam Holliday, co-founder and CEO at Oshi Health. We are a digital clinic and center of excellence that diagnoses and treats all digestive and gastrointestinal conditions. Our multidisciplinary GI specialized care team includes dietary interventions and gut brain psychology interventions, things like cognitive behavioral, gut directed hypnotherapy, uh, along with medication to treat these conditions. Uh, similar to Sam, we are a nationwide medical practice focused on musculoskeletal care. We're a multi-specialty practice, really focused on the non-operative arm. What we're really going after is a holistic care model where we employ physicians on the non-operative orthopedic side, physical therapists, health coaches to really have a holistic care model, given that the average health system in the United States does about 50% unnecessary spine surgery and about 20 to 35% unnecessary knee surgery. So trying to combat the unnecessary surgical rate, drive up outcomes, net promoter score is in the 88 range. We have an average reduction of pain about 62%, an average reduction of anxiety, depression is measured on PHQ2 or GAD2 of 61%, 70% improvement in functional improvement uh, on the Promise 10 for functional improvement, and up to a four to one ROI. Our workhorse is we're a virtual front door, so patients come either through their health plan, self-insured employer, or a referral from a primary care provider. On their first visit, they will meet with a, a non-operative board-certified orthopedic physician and a physical therapist. They'll get a medical diagnosis from the physician. They'll get a functional diagnosis from the physical therapist. And then that really goes into a holistic care model of Nancy coming in with 10 out of 10 back pain. What you find that's most important to her is walking her kid Tommy to school. Her care plan will be literally walking Tommy to school while you're also getting her back pain improved. We can pull in uh, registered dietitians if there's a, a nutritional component or a weight component driving the musculoskeletal pain. And then people also get pulled into a biopsychosocial spiritual model as you get people better. So Parsley Health is a nationwide digital and virtual clinic specializing in complex chronic patients. Uh, as it turns out, chronic disease drives 90% of our healthcare costs and 30% of our workforce has two or more comorbidities. Parsley treats patients across gastrointestinal, autoimmune, cardiometabolic, behavioral health, and reproductive health and hormone conditions through specialized medical programs that are doctor-led. Telehealth was the future, but also telehealth is a feature, not a product. And ultimately, what is it that you're delivering via telehealth um, and that makes your care higher quality and higher impact? Um, but that, you know, if you could FaceTime your mom, you should be able to FaceTime your doctor. And so even when we started with our brick and mortar clinics in New York and LA, we were always a hybrid for telehealth between, um, you know, our patients would come in for that first visit. And then we saw everyone was doing telehealth. And then we saw people were traveling from other cities, states, and countries to access this form of root cause medicine, doing the first visit in person and continuing virtually. This is all before COVID. And so we said, well, this is dumb. Why are we making people drive and fly here? Um, if we can operationalize this broad beyond these clinics, up to 50% of people, whether or not they're on an attributed list somewhere or not, um, don't have a PCP, don't actually have primary care. And so we close that gap. We're fully supported to be um, a virtual PCP. At the same time, um, for the most part, we are a specialized medical program, um, I think much like in some ways Rory and, and Oshi, um, that wraps the PCP and also wraps the specialist and sits as a layer in between. Um, as we know, our PCPs, there's a shortage of them. We don't train enough of them. Um, they're overwhelmed. And guess what? In 15 minute visits, there's only so much you can do for some of these more complex chronic patients that we typically take care of. created a video-based technology as well as a virtual care team to help people take their medication properly at every dose. Patients with asthma, diabetes, hypertension, um, sickle cell disease, uh, those with opioid use disorder, um, many other conditions as well, uh, and validated that in now 21 peer-reviewed publications showing that we take adherence from, you know, in the chronic condition, somewhere about 50% up into the 90s on an observed dose-by-dose -dose basis. Incredibly, we changed the standard of care this year. So as of March, the CDC has recommended asynchronous video directly observed therapy for certain infectious conditions as equivalent to an in-person visit. 
So it's Very really good. the first time in all digital health that you have a uh, an asynchronous video visit being considered the same as an in-person visit. Kind of a narrative here is we're focused on asynchronous care delivery. Specifically, we digitize physical therapy through computer vision. And so, you know, if anyone's had physical therapy, you've dealt with the logistical and economic challenges of accessing it. So our platform is entirely web-based where we are able to send digital plans to patients on their own devices. Yeah, it runs on phones, laptops, tablets. There's no downloads, passwords, uh, or sensors involved. And so they're able to take care of their hair on or take care of their care on their own time, uh, in their own in their own home. And all that data is sent back to PTs to review and progress them accordingly. So in our world, we use computer vision. So when they're doing their physical therapy, they're getting real-time feedback on counting their reps, logging their range of motion, real-time movement correction. That enables us to let them do it at their own time and then be able to send the data back and be just as effective. Uh, Neuroglee is a virtual specialty provider who uses technology to power at-home access to evidence-based, non-pharmacologic, multi-domain care for patients and their caregivers with cognitive disorders like mild cognitive impairment and dementia. We become the trusted extension of our healthcare partners through both telehealth visits and a patient-facing and caregiver-facing app that allows for content and assessments to be delivered in home through our partnership with the Mayo Clinic's in-person habit program. So we use our platform to provide dynamic insights to the care team to accelerate and personalize clinical decision-making as well as coordination of care. And our care model improves not only timely access to neurology specialty care, but ease of access at home for patients who may struggle with independence, cohesive access to expert at home cognitive care and shared access to the supportive care resources needed for the patient and family. The patient is that it has been designed uniquely with the patient with cognitive impairment in mind. So all of the tools that they use to access telehealth, as well as the content for uh, cognitive therapies are built in there with their design. But that important point you mentioned is that the caregiver is taken into account as well. They have a different portal to access a caregiver app which supports them with resources, as well as the ability to, at an arm's length, view the progress um, and instructions given to the patient, their adherence to the program, as well as the ability to, to join the visits from a different location. We are saving the lives of two generations by changing the paradigm of breastfeeding support via telehealth. Simply put, what that means is that we are telehealth for lactation support breastfeeding families. Um, we're uniquely focused on moving breastfeeding support from what it historically has been, which is acute problem-based care, kind of a one and done uh, visit live and in person, oftentimes within the first 24 hours after a family leaves, uh, before the family leaves the hospital. And we're changing that now to a preventative model of care, where essentially families can get the support they need throughout their entire breastfeeding journey. And that's uniquely an enabled by telehealth meeting families in the home. Uniquely um, in the lactation space, when it's in person, um, if anybody's been there, done that, and you've, you've had a baby and you've got the lactation consultant at your bedside, oftentimes that lactation consultant will come hands on and actually manipulate both the baby and the mother to get the, the, the right latch. And what, what happens in telehealth that's really, really unique for us is we have to be entirely hands off which means that families, mothers demonstrate self-efficacy. They learn that muscle memory because they have to do it themselves. The lactation consultant has to guide and instruct in the mother's unique setting in that chair that she'll be feeding in possibly up to 12 times per day, which is really different than the hospital bed or the chair in the clinic. We're the largest Medicaid value-based care company in the country. We focus on the home and community-based population, members who are part of the LTSS waiver. We manage their medical and their non-medical spend, and we serve 100,000 patients across the country. What differentiates us is great outcomes. So we've seen reductions in inpatient and ER utilization of over 20% while improving quality, but specifically designed for a Medicaid population.
and uh, designed for patients who are typically homebound. Of course, you know, a big part of what we do is medical care. So full spectrum medical support, behavioral support, coordinating with the PCP and specialists, that's a big part of what we do. Uh, but Matt, as you mentioned, the population is very vulnerable. And so there's a medical component. There's a big non-medical component as well. So we help on things like empowering alternatives, durable medical equipment. So to use a very simple example, if a member says, I want to be more independent and I want to be able to shower by myself or bathe myself, we might help with the shower grab ball.